Skip tells the story of a teenager, 17 year old boy with the power of regeneration. Now, he doesn't realize the kind of power he has. He's a very suicidal, depressed teenager who lives by himself in a studio apartment and he spends most of his time killing himself because of his want to die, his wish to die, and this power of his just rejects him over and over again. The only happiness he has is the fact that he can see his mother in the afterlife. Uh, I think the movie tells a great story about a family and relationships. Um, we have, uh, you know, this cool powers in it, which plays a good, good role in it, and there's a uh, very interesting and uh, action-packed scenes, but it's also, it's a story about love and relationships. It's about family, um, and it's about opening them up and, um, and finding your place in your family. So, you know, just because you have a horrible relationship now doesn't mean you can't fix things, you can't see somebody else's side, or you can't find your spot and be comfortable with who you are. This story is definitely going to touch a lot of people in certain ways. It has a lot to do with uh, suicide um, and neglection of your child. Uh, there's, there's things that are unsaid that you don't hear with, with your children that they may not speak to you about. So we want to touch the homes and the people and the children that are soft-spoken that want to be heard. Chris talked to me about it a very long time ago. And since then, you know, we were working on other things like H4 and Teach Me. And so he gave me an early version of the script and I thought it was really cool. And now, you know, he's worked on it. He's revised it over and over and over. And finally, he's been able to get this short film. So I'm looking forward to it because I know he's worked very hard on it. I overheard an idea about a boy who has the power to heal. And in my head, I'm thinking that's so plain, it needs something. So I added a kind of contrast between a boy who wants to die and a boy who has the power to regenerate. And I started writing out the script and it's way different than it is now. He, he kills himself every night, but he doesn't go to the afterlife. It's just plain darkness. Tyler, Tyler does go to school. Um, the way it starts off was Tyler is walking through the hallway and as he's walking through the hallway, he explains in voiceover, his life is shit. That's basically all he says. It's a very powerful look into a very unique situation. You know, you have these characters with gifts that they don't view as gifts. And, and it kind of, I don't know, it reminds me of people born into bad situations and they view their whole life as kind of a curse when in actuality there are other things that you know that are in their lives or that they can reach out and find that will become gifts and I don't know I, I, I think that it's it's a story that needs to be told. So I'm reaching out to you the people of Indiegogo to help donate money to this film so it can be the best possible film, short film, it can be, and I hope that one day this film will be able to make an impact on people's lives and to entertain them at the same time, and we can only do that with your help.